Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am doing yeah a New Year's in, uh, inspired design. Mm. No, to be perfectly honest, I just saw these colours and thought I really want to use them. <laughs> Which is the best kind of design really, isn't it? Don't know what was going on with that laugh then. <laughs> Slight chipmunk, possibly mm, dad. Anywho. So I'm using the new Moira colour, which is called. <laughs> oh, there was two really, really similar. And I'm thinking, which one did I just pick up? Hang on, I will go find out. This one is called Force. Yes. So the pinky and the thumb are, to start with, just putting a full cover of this on. I hadn't really decided what I was doing with this design. I just knew the kind of the colours I wanted to do and the glitter I wanted to use. And that was about as far as I got. When it comes to New Year's, everybody does one of two things. They either go black and silver or they go black and gold. I don't want to do either of those. So this is more, it's a coppery colour, but it's more orangey than a copper. Um, and then the second colour, so this one is from Moira, and then the second colour I'm going to use is from Glitter Bells, and it is called Purple Smoke? Nope, that's not the one, oh for God's sake, I've literally just been downstairs. <laughs> Looked at what that colour was, come back up and went, yeah, you know, I know what this one is. Walk back upstairs and gone, what? <laughs> I think I'm getting old. Um, I swear it's purple smoke. Um, it'll all be at the end. Say, look, I link what I use in my description below. It will be down there. Um, it's it's like a grey, but it's got a purple hint to it. More than a purple hint, actually. It does marble a bit when you put this one on, but as you work it, it does kind of sort itself out so don't be worried if you do get this one and you pick up a bead and go oh my god it's marbling it does it does sort itself out as you pull it down so both of these they they're very different in how you work them um the moira you kind of paint on whereas this one you can kind of build it a little bit more i'm um, sorry if you can hear screaming children in the background i don't know what on earth i fed that little one today but he's just gone nuts He's on an absolute rampage and it's not even a sugar high. I just think, you know, now Christmas is out the way and he's still got all these toys and he's just, he's very excited. He's just running around the house in his pants. <laughs> but he's happy. So, you know what? So be it. Um... This middle finger, I decided I was going to marble the two colours together. So I'm going to do a marble and then I'm put, going to put a, a sprinkling of glitter. I am using Honeycomb from Glitter Stella. That's the glitter today, which is, again, it, it's these kind of colours because the glitter has got like a bluey shift to it. I think that's what I wanted you to say. Shift. Um... But yeah, I, do, I wanted something different to the usual. So as usual, I'm going to pick up a wet bead of both. I'm going to add even more in. Uh, I should have gone with the copper first. And I didn't. So I do come in afterwards and try and fix that. Um, but you know... If it all goes wrong, there is always glitter. Yeah, this wasn't my greatest marble. Nye. Okay, just clean up those sides, which is the most important part. And then the index finger is, again, it's just going to be a uh, full... Uh, the, the same as the ring finger. What is the name of that? <laughs> oh, that's 
I, I swear it is purple smoke. I'm going to have to go downstairs and have a look again. Mm, hang on a moment. I should be back. Yes, it is definitely called Purple Smoke. I'm not sure why it didn't seem right to me, but I've got the song Purple Rain stuck in my head. So, yeah, I definitely don't have prints on the nails. <laughs> <sighs> Anywho, let's put a bit of glitter in there just to make the world a sparklier place. This is definitely on my my list of ones I really like. I know a lot of the shifty ones, they have given me shifty ones. Ooh, um, a little bit of trouble, but this one is just, it's just really nice. So I'm coming along with a small bead of clear, deepening in that raw acrylic. Raw acrylic, raw glitter, oh jeez. I was doing so well. No, I wasn't. Let's let's be let's be honest. I'm really not. And I'm just gonna add that to the tip. I'm just gonna push that around where I want it. Now I don't want it all over the nail. I'm kind of making almost like a blocking effect, but then I decided I didn't want the glitter to block out the colour underneath, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Hmm. And then I'm just going to add a little, I think I added, yeah, just a little bit more. So you can see I'm only doing very small beads here. There's not a lot going on. Um, and I actually decided to leave that there and I'm going on to the thumb and I'm kind of going to make it go the opposite way. So again, I'm just pushing that glitter up where I want it. Then once I'm happy with that, I come along with just a, so once the glitter is dried, I will come along with just a wet bead of clear just to go over the glitter, just to get into all those nuts and crannies, and then I will cap it afterwards. So none of these are strength powders, so you do have to cap them all, so I will cap them, I will file them, which is horrible on a practice hand um, because the tips come in and out of this practice hand which is fantastic because it makes it really easy to you know just pull stuff on and off filing is a nightmare uh, and then i'm going to come in with just some firework stamping uh, this is a born pretty plate and it, it gave me a lot of trouble Yeah, we've all seen me stamp with this polish before. It generally doesn't go too badly, but as you can see by my paper towel, it did take a couple of attempts. Uh, but we got there in the end, and yeah, that's basically all I'm going to do. I was thinking about putting a bit of striping tape on the index and the pinky. The problem is, the, the striping tapes I had, they were too gold. They just weren't the right colour to go with it, and it just looked odd so in the end i decided that i wasn't going to and i'm going to leave them as they are and so we're just going to come along and we're going to put some top coat over the top i wish you all a very happy new year uh let's hope next year is better <laughs> i don't know what, what to say about this year to be honest um but yeah fingers crossed we get a much better next year um and I'm looking forward to creating the next design. So happy new year, everybody. I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.